to Your Real World. I'm your host, Tierra Williams. Here on the show, we give you news you can use. Well, you can't use all of it because some of it is just so ratchet, but who doesn't like a little bit of ratchetry sometimes? I know I do. It's been really crazy in the black community this week. Shenanigans galore. Timberland's baby mama wants $40 million for a baby that he didn't help create. Two prisoners have escaped from prison with just a signature. And finally, Deion Sanders is slapping people at PTA meetings. It's real out here. This week, Bishop T.D. Jakes explained why he allowed Tyler Perry to lay hands on him during Megafest 2013 after some called it a mockery of Christianity. But Bishop T.D. Jakes says that it wasn't a mockery at all. Every pastor needs prayer, even him, along with the million dollar check. One million dollars. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I didn't really need an explanation. We know why he took the million dollar check and was slain in the spirit. I'm going to tell you, if somebody gave me a million dollar check, I'm going to be slain in the spirit too. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. But seriously, if somebody gave me a million dollars, I'm singing my favorite praise song. I woke up in a new Bugatti. But I don't understand why people are upset. I mean, Tyler Perry is a man of God, right? Right? I am living for the Lord. I am living for the Lord. I am living for the Lord. Hallelujah. Sure, there's speculation of Tyler Perry laying hands on men for a living, but he counteracts that with strong, wholesome, black Christian themed plays and movies that star strong black cross-dressing men. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Right? And yes, he wears tons of makeup and he has that weird permanent dye induced hairline, but so did Jesus. I don't think it's a big deal for Tyler Perry to lay hands on Bishop T.D. Jakes because Tyler Perry has never answered the speculation. No admittance means it's not true. So if the Christian community supports Tyler Perry and so does Bishop T.D. Jakes, then who are we? Keep on preaching, Pastor Perry. Pass peace. In other news, SNL's Kenan Thompson set the record straight this week about the lack of diversity on the show. In the last 38 years, SNL has only seen four female black cast members. And more like three and a half because one of them only made it mid-season. Sorry, girl. Pause. When is the last time I laughed at Kenan? Yeah, never. Ooh, maybe if they hire a female black cast member, then they would fire Kel, Keenan. Whoops. Uh, be because he plays all the women on the show. That makes total sense. And then he would be back at the Good Burger or the Cheeseburger or whatever, wherever he was working before. When Keenan referred to his all white cast, he refers to them as all funny, all talented, all great, all grand, blah, blah. Keenan. Here is a word of advice from me to you, from sister to brother. The next time someone asks you about diversity in your community and you just don't know what to say, don't say <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Your Real World. I am your host, Tierra Williams. If you wanna see more of me, make sure you subscribe right down here there and if you want to join the conversation you know you want to bond you want to share a story i'm open for all of that just make sure you hashtag your real world that's why oh you well you know how to spell it you graduated so thank you so much for watching and till the next time you keep it real